So hi guys, I'm just about to leave Walmart and I haven't been able to film much due to everybody being around, so yeah. But I showed up in Walmart to get um tater tot casserole. So we got the tater tots, the yogurt, well yogurt, why am I saying yogurt? I guess because that was on my list. Well anyways, I'm gonna be doing a um uh, I'm going to be doing a tater tot casserole recipe dinner thing. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. But I'm just shopping around Walmart right now. And it's late at night, and I'm doing this stuff. So, yeah. Pretty much, I have made it to the men's clothing section. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get off here because I can't really record. And uh, once I get home, you'll see the tater tot casserole recipe that I'm going to be doing. And if you're wondering why I'm looking around and stuff, it's because this place is packed. You wouldn't think that, but it is. So, yeah. So, I shall see you home. Take care and hope you enjoyed the Tater Tot Casserole video. So, hi guys. I'm back out of Walmart right now. And while I was in Walmart, I was going to show you all the Tater Tot stuff and stuff like that. But I couldn't because the fucking employees... There were so many employees in there that I couldn't show you everything. So when I get home, I'm on my way home now. We're just now leaving Walmart. As you can see, the Walmart building show. And, yeah. So we're just now leaving here. And, uh... Yeah, so I got everything what I'm going to make, and when I get home, I'm going to show you uh, everything that I bought and step-by-step -step on how to make it. You're going to love this, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I now arrive back at home, and I'm going to show you everything that you need in order to make this tater tot casserole. So you're going to need a bag of tater tots, a thing of ground beef. I'm actually making a lot, so you can use... <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So you can use um, one bag of the uh, Velveeta shredded Mexican style cheddar blend cheese. But I use two because I make a big thing of it because we got a big family. So, and you also need French fried onions. It don't matter if it's the off brand or the uh, brand, name brand or whatever. You need uh, two cans of this if you're making a... Uh, a big huge thing if you're not and you're only making enough for say instant two servings or whatever you'll probably just need one can so you need two cans of this and you need one, uh, one can of this you don't have to have the uh, the uh, mushroom pieces or whatever uh, or you don't have to have mushrooms, period. But my husband loves mushrooms, so I add this. So if you like mushrooms, definitely get this to put in it. And you'll need this. And you'll need sour cream. So that's all the ingredients you need. Let's get started, and I'll show you how to do the ground beef. Okay, guys. So once you have your ground beef in your skillet, and um, set it on the preferred heat that you want it on, um, you want to, of course, season it, so I'm using, uh, garlic salt, um, with parsley, and I'm using seasonal, um, also using black pepper and salt, and you want to just add that to this and, uh, cook this until it's brown, and I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so after you've browned the ground beef and cooked it fully and seasoned it, what you want to do next is you want to take a, a clear dish or a big dish or whatever. You want to line your ground beef in the bottom of it. Okay, the two cans of cream of mushroom soup, you want to... Okay, you want to add both of these cans to it. And... Once you've added both of them cans, you want to add um, the pieces and stem mushroom can. So, okay. So after you have lined your ground beef and you've poured in your soup and you've also poured in your can of mushrooms, what you want to do is take it and you want to mix it around. 
Okay, and here's the thing. When you cook ground beef and you season it, when you cook it in a skillet, it's automatically going to decrease in the uh, seasonings that you have put in it. So what I do is when I have it like this, I re-season it with the same seasonings that I use to uh, season the ground beef before it was done. So after it's done and after you've got it like this, before you reline it in the bottom of the pan, you want to re-season it. So I'm going to do that now and reline it and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you have seasoned it, uh, well, after you've placed your seasons and um, stared it around and relined it, you want to take your um, Velveeta cheese. You want to line the entire top with Velveeta cheese. So we're going to do that now. And you just sprinkle it out over the top. I can't do this while recording, so sprinkle the entire bag. And if you like a lot of cheese, you may... You're going to have to buy two bags of this and use an entire bag and then half of the other one. Because we like a lot of cheese, so yeah. Okay guys, so after I lined it with cheese, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these onions, I'm going to line it with onions. And then I'm going to take the other bag of cheese that I have and I'm going to put a slight layer of, of, uh, sorry, of cheese over the onions. So we'll be right back. So there's my onions on it, and now for the cheese. Okay, and the reason why I put another layer of cheese over the onions is because you don't want your onions falling off the top. You want them to stay connected. So I put another layer of cheese. Okay, now I'm going to line up the tater tots on top of the cheese, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so when you get ready to line it, I mean, you could just throw them on there all ghetto fight and stuff, but I don't do that. I actually line mine up so that it covers everything. So how I line it is I start in a corner, and I just go down. It, ta it, it takes time to line it, but I just go down in a line all the way down it like so. And I do that until this whole pan is covered. We'll be back. So after you have your pan completely lined with your tater tots, what you want to do is you want to look on the bag of tater tots. On the bag of the ones I have, I preheated the oven to 425. That's what it says. And then you just cook it in the oven for... Whatever the bag of tater tots say that you're using, mine says 425 to cook in the oven for on 425 for 28, Sarah, sorry my dog, for 28 to 32 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do and if it doesn't seem done, I will add, I will tack on and let you know how much extra minutes that I had to cook it. But I believe it's going to be done because I've done it this way for several times now. So I'm now going to pop this in the oven and I'll be back and show you the plating of it. And show you the, the other sides that we are going to have with this. So yeah. Okay guys, update. I Okay, instead of 28 minutes, I did 30 minutes on 425 degrees. And... Uh, I also put the green beans on and basically I'm not here to show you how I do the green beans but yeah so I put the green beans on we're, green beans we're having for a side and we are also having garlic knots with it so that's what we're having with it and I'll show you the plating once it's done I hope I hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe and comment thank you for watching and have a blessed day and stay tuned for the plating hi guys so <clears throat> here it is plated i hope you enjoyed this video i have not added the green beans or the garlic knots but i just wanted you to see just how good this stuff really looks and it tastes just as good um earlier my phone was dying and i said uh my outro way too soon so i want to rephrase that like subscribe 
comment. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Enjoy this video. Go cook it right now. You're going to love it. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.